So I paid three strangers on Fiverr to render my project. Each of them got the same briefing and requirements, but one was $30, the other $100, and the last and most premium one, $200. I'm really excited to see how each image turns out. All right, so Fiverr is sponsoring this video and they reached out asking me if I wanted to be a part of this Fiverr challenge where I hire different tier gigs to do the same thing and then I can compare them afterwards. And I thought it would be really fun and interesting if I grabbed back an old project I designed in architecture school. It's a social housing apartment complex and the renderings I did way back then. I mean, the renderings are not something I'm very proud of, if I can be honest, but I was barely a third year student and I hadn't really discovered the world of visualization just yet. So I thought it would be really cool to see what other people would create using this 3D model. And these strangers that we are about to hire do this as their job, or as a side hustle at least, so I'm excited to see the results. And then I'll get to judge these images, say what I liked or disliked about each of them, and you will also get to leave in the comments below your thoughts. Now, the guys from Fiverr said I could hire one gig from each tier and get a range of prices, just like you saw in the intro, a cheaper one, an intermediate price, and then a premium and expensive one. So here on the Fiverr website, I spent a bit of time searching for the gigs I thought it fit my requirements. I wanted artists that didn't feel generic and had somehow their personality input on the images. I usually feel that when it comes to renderings, people can sometimes use common assets and rely only on rendering settings that an image may end up feeling without life and generic. Now, there are pretty much endless options here, like from rising artists to Fiverr choices, and I try to look up people with good star rating too how fast they usually reply. I mean, there are a bunch of things that you can filter for. And then after a bit of time searching, I settled on these three gigs here. The first one, I will create photorealistic architectural rendering from Joseki. And he's an architect, which is definitely an essential for me. Uh, not that being an architect makes you a better visualizer automatically, but I imagine that he will have keen eyes for specific project details. I hope at least. So this is for the starter pack for 30 bucks. Uh, doesn't include modeling, but I already have most of the things modeled anyway. Plus, I strongly think that modeling is part of the design process, so I wouldn't really want to outsource that part. Maybe for more complex stuff, yeah, but not just the basic messing and initial ideas like, like this one. So, that's one. Then the second stranger I chose, uh, I will render high quality 3D exterior architectural visualization from Hanum. And I took uh, from this one the standard package, but instead of the 90 bucks, I told her I could do $100 if she went all in and gave me the best image she could get. And this includes one image only, but it's with revisions, people, lighting, and all other things. And I really liked uh, her images, especially these first ones. I mean, I would say these more towards the end here are not really my style. Maybe the project is the issue or the point of view. I don't know. But based on those images of her portfolio, I'm really excited to see how this image will turn out. All right, so that's two. Now let's take a look at the third gig. I will make awesome architecture exterior interior 3D renders by Mafesto. And this is for $200. And that's particularly insane for me, especially because when I translate this to my local currency, it's almost like a month full of minimum wage work here. But I got interested and I think they are a team of ArcViz artists, so I'm expecting a lot from them. Uh, two of the images from their portfolio really caught my eyes and the other ones, honestly, I didn't like that much. I was between them and another one of around $200, uh, but since this one had so many reveals and gigs then, and particularly for this image, uh, I settled on them. Okay, so gigs picked, now let's take a quick look at the brief and the image directions I sent them. Okay, so for the brief, I try to give as many directions as possible without limiting them too much or influencing the final result. I try to put myself into the shoes of an architectural firm as if they were outsourcing a rendering, and I explained pretty much everything from the design point of view and the context info so that the result matched the project, which I think is what matters here, right? The, the renderer has to portray the project. Now, one thing I was very strict about was the scene, like the camera angle and view. I wanted a one-to-one -one ratio so that it showed a bit of the sky and the composition didn't feel too cramped, vertical-wise, I mean. Plus, I didn't have the whole model then, therefore I couldn't let them frame anywhere. So I sent them this uh, scene suggestion here, 
with a bunch of placeholders and reference textures. So I explained on the Word document what I expected, uh, but always emphasizing that they were the artists and that they could express their creativity and identity there. Like material-wise, it was just reference textures, really. Then the lighting, the sun, the environment lighting. For me, this is one of the biggest things in the composition, how the light will hit the building and enhance or diminish certain volumes, for example. I left that pretty open, pretty vague, so that they could decide what they thought was best for the composition. Now, there are a few more things here on this briefing, but it was just one page of image directions, again, from an architectural point of view. But that's it, that's all I sent them. The images are already here. I didn't take such an in-depth look just yet. I mean, I sent the revisions and all because that was included. But apart from that, I'm reviewing them in full right now. So let's get started. You ready? First up, the $30 one. And first of all, I gotta say how impressed I am for a $30 service. This guy was the first one to deliver amongst them all. And for me, the building volumes look great. He managed to do something that the other two didn't do so well, in my opinion, as we're gonna see later. It's the clear separation between volumes. And this is a tricky thing. You need to play with the lighting, like the environmental lighting, to properly define each plane. And for me, if done incorrectly, you may read this building as if the, the two planes were a single thing. And understanding that path that leads back there is a vital thing for this image. I mean, at least for me. And I think he captured the essence of it. Now the sun is also placed in such a way that creates simple and clean shadows under the blinds. Really loved it. And although he nailed some things and I really liked the overall image, I must say that I'm not very fond of the classic birds that he added. I'll, I'll probably take that out. And the people, the shadow is pointing in a different direction, uh, but that doesn't really matter that much. It does a decent job of placing the people on the ground here. What I'm not so sure about though is the, the slight fading. I think ArcViz artists feel that lowering the opacity just a bit makes them match a bit more to the image color and values. Not so sure why they do it. Personally, I don't like it. And again, I really liked it and I think the composition looks fantastic. But a last comment on this image, I think it would really benefit if it had a foreground of some sort. I mean, I tried to indicate a bit on the scene suggestion, but, but not that much. And a plus, I guess, from, from this delivery is that he delivered a full width as well. I asked for a one-to-one -one ratio, but maybe the render engine that he uses exports only 16 by 9, and then he crops it later. That can be. Either way, I like this wider view, really liked it. Maybe I'll appreciate a bit more sky though, so that it doesn't feel too cramped. But overall, I'm really happy with the result. It has a very clean aesthetic and for the price and for such a fast delivery, I think that's a really great job. I'm really satisfied. So Joseki, really good job. Thanks a lot for this image. So moving on, now let's take a look at the middle one, the $100 image. And right off the bat, I gotta say, Wow, I mean, the upgrading price is definitely noticeable here. There's a, there's a lot more depth and you can really feel the building volumetric as if you were gonna touch it. Uh, the composition looks phenomenal for me and there's plenty of sky up above. It has the foreground elements that I mentioned, which adds a lot to the final result. Maybe, just maybe, I feel the need of something here. Uh, there's this garden and grassy area around here that could have had some leaves or, or vegetation masses showing up. But this is just a tiny comment that doesn't really impact the final image at all. Now, all of the images that I received had a lot of quality, like pixel quality. So if you zoom in, you can really identify the details. You can see it all. I like this. And it's hard to point out the bad stuff here. But I guess that, that wouldn't be a video if I didn't try to be really picky, right? Maybe the people here could have been placed differently. Like instead of this guy sitting on the back here, maybe someone walking towards the back would have been, would have been better. And these guys on the sand, I would do something differently with them. And I understand that this, this woman here may be smaller than this man, but it feels that the horizon line hasn't been taken into account. Probably adding that person on the back there would have addressed this issue. But again, it's just extra comments. I'm very pleased with this delivery. And I could spend a lot more time commenting on the things that Hanun got right with this image. Just an amazing composition, I really liked it. But now let's move on and take a look at the $200 image. So are you ready? Here it is. Are you impressed? Cause I am. I mean, the previous one was, was really already so good, but with this, personally, I liked it very much. Uh, but I'm not so sure it beats last one. 
I'm going to say the things that I liked and disliked about this image now. I think it's an upgrade in a lot of aspects for sure. Like the gig had the model included. So I asked them to make the interior to have life in it, like beyond curtains and all. Like these guys delivered real interior spacing with people framing sofas and all. And this wasn't part of the model. I think on the last image, Hanun used fake reflections and fake interior. Uh, that if you zoomed in, you could see that it didn't match the interior at all, but it worked fine in the overall composition. But now this one, this one just nails it. It goes even further with the whole foreground element thing that I mentioned, which I didn't ask, but they made it like 10 out of 10 on this one for sure. The flooring, big thumbs up. It was all vague in the 3D and then they placed these slates of concrete, really liked it. And the people, come on, I mean, beautifully done. They, they got it right with everything, like the shadows, values, placements, everything. There's just one thing that I think they missed is the separation between the volumes that I mentioned. I mean, if you crop it right here, for example, you, you kind of lose the planes here. I know that this is tricky and all, but maybe just a bit of fog, like distance fog, this issue could have been addressed. But again, it's just a minor comment that doesn't take the merit of this great composition. Thanks, Mafesto. I think that's how you say it. You guys really nailed on this one. All right, guys, so after seeing all of the images and the price points, what did you think about them? Would you consider hiring these services? And do you think the amount paid in this video makes sense? Or how much should you pay for such services? Type it in the comments below and I would love to hear your opinion on this. Now, if you're interested in using Fiverr, remember that you can get really affordable services for you or your business. Or even have you considered offering your services on Fiverr? I know a lot of you guys that follow Upstairs have high skills when it comes to rendering and visualization. And that's a really viable option to make that extra buck at the end of the month and increase your income or even just to practice it with real clients. Fiverr offers it all. There's a link in the video description that will lead you directly there. So you can check it out and see all of the options. Thanks again to Fiverr for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.